Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you how I'm mounting my Starlink on the new Airstream. Remember, if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that on my Montana, I used the flagpole buddy system to go ahead and mount the Starlink on the ladder rack of the Montana. And it provided a really good stable spot up high above the roof line. I really enjoyed it. I liked it. So I wanted something similar that was still above the roof line, maybe on some type of a pole, but there's no ladder on the Airstream. And I didn't want to do anything permanent mounted up on the roof. I know some people are doing that, but I want to save that space for solar. So what was my option? So I started looking online. I started doing some digging and seeing what other Airstreamers and other just pure travel trailers were using for uh, their Starlink. And there's several different options out there. I'm just going to share with, with what I'm doing. And I feel like it's going to suit me best for my method of camping and everything I'm doing for the Airstream customization wise and whatnot. Um, ease of setup. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Basically, I am doing a uh, hitch mounted type of system up here on the front a-frame of the trailer there's going to be a little hitch receiver that then a pole um, mount goes to and then an extendable pole with a pipe uh, adapter at the top for the starlink it's a pipe adapter from starlink uh, all this stuff is going to be available on amazon i'm going to show uh, in the description below a link for all these items but let's just get right into the install first things first we need to go and unbox and do the hitch mount uh, situation onto the front of this frame so let's get to it all right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this box. This is the uh, adapter. It's a Toe Ever. It's just something, again, I found on Amazon. They make a ton of different products, all very, very similar. But it's basically just to create a two inch receiver onto the frame of the, uh, you know, of the trailer, right? It doesn't have to be Airstream. It could be any travel trailer is what this is designed to do. So it's just that. We got the bottom plate, which will go down below. And we got bolts that should reach all the way through and tighten up. So we're gonna go ahead and get this sucker mounted. And of course, this type of install uh, is very custom. It's very you know selective to what you're doing and what you like. So uh, I think I'm actually gonna do this as close, as close to this as I can for now. And again, it's, it's just four bolts. So if any time I feel like I want it in a different spot, uh, I want to move it somewhere else, I can do that. It's a pretty, pretty relatively simple and easy thing to move. But I think this is the spot I'm going to choose. Uh, so we're just going to go for it. All right, so now I got the four bolts in. I got the nuts kind of just loosely set on there. Let's go ahead and I want to shimmy and shake this thing as far forward as I can. It makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out right here. I mean, there's really no no science to this right now. I'm not keeping it centered perfectly because um, again, I mean, it's only holding the Starlink. I mean, you could put a five pole on it. That's like kind of the whole point of it. A um, couple different options for it, but I'm not concerned about this thing holding a, a massive amount of weight, you know, hundreds of pounds or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten these up right here. tightening anything like this with four corners or more it's always best to do them in a star pattern or you know crisscross so you know start here then here then here then back here and you just keep on going in a crisscross pattern until you get everything tight if you tighten one side all the way down it's going to open up the up the opposite uh, opposing corner and you don't want to do that so just remember to kind of crisscross as you're tightening things up <laughs> All right, so now this thing is on here. It is not going anywhere. I mean, it's really tight. I'm gonna move the whole whole trailer before I move it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and step on to the next part, which is this little adapter. It goes from a uh, standard two inch hitch to a pipe adapter. Um, very adjustable um, depending on height and, and what you're using it for. Again, link in the description below where you can buy this stuff on Amazon. So now this is mounted. You got this little extra screw on this um, hitch receiver that I got. Uh, again, link in the description below. But this extra screw really gives it stability 
um, it's not it's not moving at all again i'm moving the whole trailer right now just kind of shaking it a little bit so now we got this on let's go ahead and step on to the next piece which is the flag pole uh, and again i'll put a link in the description below to the one i got so no matter what you do you always got to do something a little bit custom and for the adapter that i already had um from the, something that i was using it for differently um the flag pole that i bought is a little bit too big but that's okay because the flag pole comes in these big sections right and basically all I had to do was at the end of the section, you know, the, the, the little crimp ring and everything like that was just kind of pry it and break it out. Um, so I broke off two sections because I don't need them. And the pole is still gonna be really, really big. So it has the expandability still of, I think two sections, three sections. So let's go ahead and expand it out and see what it still looks like. Let's go ahead and mount it right on the Airstream and see. So, and again, I kind of, I didn't tighten that ring up all the way. Uh, I, I, I got down to the pole that fits this thing almost perfectly. I mean, it's it's really, really tight in there. But now, on this thing, let me go ahead and back the camera up to show you. I mean, look at how high that is. It's way, way, way up there. Um, I mean, you gotta think that the height of the Airstream right now, because of the angle of the driveway, is at least 10, 11 feet. So it's it's at least two and a half times that. I mean, I'm gonna guess it's at 25 to 30 feet high. Um, so again, way higher than I'll ever need the Starlink. Um, but it, you never know, you could be right next to a tree and this could get you right up above it. So uh, I don't plan on putting it that high unless needed, right? You're only gonna put it as high as you need to. Always wanna do it as low as possible just because the longer you extend that pole, the more leverage there is on it for any kind of wind and stuff like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now we're gonna take this back down. Uh, we're gonna put the pipe adapter on it and attach the Starlink. So let's take a look at it. Let's go ahead and check out the Starlink pipe adapter. So like all things Starlink, it comes with everything you need. Um, this is a little bit more, uh, th these are just uh, clips for the Starlink cable. So this is more like for a permanent install. So I actually am gonna keep these for a separate project. And then of course it has the um, different length threaded screws for this because it goes on to so many different pipes it's designed to be able to fit on multiple different applications but let's go ahead and get all these things set in here and attach to my pole just based on the diameter of the pole and how much space is in this thing i'm going to use the longer threaded ones it comes with two different size ones um not sure how easy this is going to be to show you guys but looks like one is maybe three quarters of an inch the other one's like an inch inch and a quarter um, not sure exactly what they are, but I'm going to use the longer ones because I think that's what's going to be needed for this pole. So I'm just going to get these started. They're threads. All right, so we can clearly see that this pipe is, you know, quite small for the adapter. Let me show you kind of the, the diameter size there. So I'm going to go ahead and thread these in quite a bit. My biggest reason for, for pre-threading this thing as much as I possibly can is because you want to keep this as centered as possible on this. Obviously, any kind of offset is going to then off balance everything. So I think I got them all pretty well centered. Might have done them just a little bit too too tight for my pole. So let's go ahead and back a couple out just a little bit. All right, there it is. So now from the top side, I can go ahead and look down in here and I can see how centered my pipe is. Okay, it's pretty good but it is just kicked off to one side as you can kind of see it's it's more on this side over here so we're going to go ahead and adjust these to get it nice and centered before tightening them up and you can see just like uh when i'm tightening up the uh, hitch mount down there i'm just doing very tiny um, adjustments just little quarter to half turns on each one because if i were to overturn one it's going to push it to the other side pretty drastically so i'm just going to go ahead and keep rotating through until these are all nice and tight. This process should only be done one time. Right at the beginning, we're gonna mount this to it, and I'm never gonna take this pipe, uh, pipe adapter off because it's just a real pain in the butt. Um, but once you get it set and you have everything nice and perfectly centered, you make your adjustments, you should be good for a very long time. All right, I guess I'm, I'm happy with it for now. Uh, again, you can always make, make adjustments later. Um, you don't want to, you don't want to over tighten these all too, too, too much. Um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm going into an aluminum pole. So right now like, it's just, be it's just bending into the aluminum or bending the aluminum in on the inside, um, which is okay. It's going to create a nice, nice firm spot for it to grip onto. I mean, it's definitely really tight. It's not going anywhere, but, um, 
you know, it is just something to keep in mind and, and think about whenever you're doing this. Because, you know, if you just keep rotating, 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 you just keep crunching, crunching, crunching that metal. You don't want to go all the way down. Now, the other thing, which I did not do up front, but I might add to later, is thread locker. You can add little bits of thread locker onto these and help them not move at all. I'm going to start without it, see how it goes, um, just for my use. But let's go ahead and get the Starlink. We'll mount it on and we'll put it up. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put the Starlink in. Click right in place. And now we can step on over. It's that simple. Now, again, I didn't, I didn't extend it just now, but you can see right now, it's basically at the roof line, a little bit higher than the roof line. Um, the angle is making it look like it's much higher, but it really is, ab is about even with the roof line. And um, that's without it being extended whatsoever. Now, let me go ahead and kind of set the camera down and show you the stability. That's all the motion you're gonna get out of it, which you're gonna get out of just about anything. So uh, again, there's a hundred different ways to do this. This is just the way that I'm choosing to do it for the Airstream. I'm gonna see how I like it, see if there's any tweaks I make as I go down the road. Uh, but if you have something different, drop it in the, in the comments. Let me hear about what you do and what do you use. Um, I just found that this was like a simple, clean, easy setup. I did see the flagpole things that kind of come off like where, where you put them under a tire. You know, I saw those, but that's like a big piece of equipment that you got to carry around with you. Whereas this, uh, I'm going to leave the, the front stuff basically mounted there. Um, and the pole, I'm going to actually show you guys where I, I'm going to store it because I got two sewer hose thing, uh, two sewer hose storage tubes, and uh, only one of them has sewer hoses in them. The other one's empty. So I think that's where I'm going to store this pole, but let's see how it fits in there. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's video. I hope you liked something. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.